Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome to my channel, Tea Girl Magic Tarot. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here to do a reading for <clears throat> my ch ch Gemini. My Gemini. And my beautiful collective. What is going on, you guys? I hope everybody's doing well. I'm sending so much love and a lot of light to everyone. Hoping that you're doing well, okay? Um, keep in mind, this is a general message. It's not going to resonate with everybody, somebody, nobody, baby. We don't know. Take the energy that resonates, that you know what's going on and true to be for you. And your, what you have going on in your life. Um, Just take that. And don't force anything to fit. Now, the readings are timeless. That means about past, present, or future. At any time, you click on the video. And it could be for future because I've had a lot of you reach out back to me a couple of weeks later after a video and said it didn't resonate with you then but a few weeks later when you re remembered when you saw the video it resonated with you so it's those these are the type of energies that we're dealing with okay past present or future or the people around you that are going through this so it may not necessarily be you so please don't make the reading all about you keep an open mind and expand okay now, am I going to do the choir song? I'm feeling really mellow today. I have the sage burning right here too, so maybe that's why I'm feeling mellow. But I'm going to bypass that because I don't want to get extra, extra hype. I feel this is going to be a mellow reading, okay? Um, yeah, a lot of you are in a good position. Yeah, some of you guys are feeling this way. I'm not, I'm, look, I haven't shuffled, but when I look down at the cards, it's like you, the love bombing, you're over some type of love bombing or your emotions are like stabilized or nothing really can get under your skin or cooped up or you can't get emotionally imbalanced and yeah and you're just relaxing look at you with your eyes closed <laughs> just a little a lazy energy not that you're lazy but that's what i'm getting and that's how i'm feeling personally so anyway let's get into it and see what it's going to be about Holy Spirit, ancestors, ascended masters of the highest white light, pure love only. What is going on? Oh, shoot. In Gemini, high vibe, cross watchers, energy. I can tell you right now, somebody don't want you to walk away. I hear that song. Who's that song by? Um, don't walk away, boy. My love won't hurt you. And let me just quickly say... Somebody tried to comment, and now this is your two seconds of clout. We don't know who you are. That's why I deleted your comment talking about I will watch the video uh, more if you didn't sing. Well, bitch, why are you on my channel? You don't have to watch me at all, at all, okay? You're weird. Just skip forward to the through the singing and then listen to the message. That means, you're, you know what, I ain't got time for you, okay? Sending you love, light, and healing energy and return that energy back to the sender times ten. And all my collective energy is protected from any negative influences, jealous, hateful, spiteful, just raggedy ass people that just want to say something negative. If you're going to say something negative, keep it to yourself. I love the comments. I love reading your comments. You know what I mean? Keep it light. Don't get into your feelings and your emotions and give me novels of your opinion and your whatever. Okay? Oh, let's move on. Holy Spirit, now sisters, this is the highest white light, light fair love. And no, I'm not mad. I'm just, sometimes you get agitated with these other energies. It's like, go heal. Because if you have a legal comment like that, I would listen to you more if you didn't sing. It's like, what purpose does that do? What you want to get? Mm, anyway. What's the overall energy? Somebody, yeah, like I said, um, don't walk away, boy. My is this could go either way, boy or girl. It could be same sex. It could be any way, okay? But somebody doesn't want someone to walk away. They want to, they look, don't walk away. Well, do you, well, I did see, well, I'm looking at it in the upright. But when I saw it and flipped, it was in the reverse. But I feel like you've released this person who doesn't want you to walk away. That's how I feel. Okay, who is it for, Spirit? Who is this? energy reading for in the collective it could be for a virgo an earth sign for sure an earth sign doesn't want you to walk away from them mm, yeah okay are these cards gonna be i have to make sure i'm shuffling them right so they can all yeah 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 it's just the way i'm holding them okay these are new different cards that i've been using anyway what's going on holy spirit mm -hmm. Don't 
walk away. That's what they say. Okay, do they want to speak or no? Okay, Empress. So the first card in the deck is the Empress. You see the Empress? Okay, then this is the second. We have the Empress. Okay, the Queen of Cups. And then the Seven of Wands. Now, I don't know if there's two women. Hold on, let me pull a little bit more because some other downloads are coming through. Okay, somebody crying because somebody, hold on now, somebody's emotional or they want it. Oh, Lord have mercy. Mm. So, somebody's guarded their emotions or they, somebody, mm. somebody doesn't want somebody to walk away. Somebody's over emotional. This could be a spouse. For sure. Um, but whoever doesn't want you to walk away could be a tad bit immature in their emotions. It seems like you are the mother. Well, it's not like you're the mother of this person or the father. Take the energy and flip it. Se uh, sex, uh, gender, and tarot is fluid. Whoever you are, you're mature. You're like a maternal energy that, you know, you're emotionally balanced. Okay, you take care of business, whoever you are. And you block this immature person away from you. And you've laid something to rest, but they're crying over you. Yes, this queen of, I mean, this, uh, I said an earth sign was didn't want you to walk away, didn't I? King of Pentacles, who acts immature. And they're in their head for some reason. I don't know. They done did, mm, hold on, y'all. The tower. Damn, queen of swords. Here you show it up at the end and your back is turning towards this tower. Whoever this person is, this immature person, they possibly made a foolish move. I don't know if they've ended up in some type of legal situation or legality that has them facing some type of jail time. Or they could just be mentally entrapped in their mind. But it's really stressing them out that your back is turned. Oh, they've got themselves in some type of trouble for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they need your help and they need your assistance and your back is turning towards them. You you possibly have this person on block, okay? Um, yes, this person could possibly be sick, okay? That's a tower to this person. They feel very, like, unstable in their life right now. They have a lot going on, whoever this energy is. They are, um, they show up as a king of pentacles, but... This King of Pentacles makes foolish decisions. They're a risk taker. This this is a fool. The fool takes a risk, takes risk. Okay, you're free of responsibility by choice. So this is telling me that this and, and do not take, and do not like restrictions. So this is why you block this person because they were extremely immature, irresponsible. They were a risk taker. Free spirited, spontaneous, they were unpredictable, they didn't make plans for the future, they lived in the moment. So it says, it says, okay, so yeah, you're trusting your own ideas no matter what. So you're in this full energy, you're trusting God, and you're taking a new leap of faith because you want better or you wanted better, okay? This person. They were immature and foolish, and they did some type of foolish mistake. They could have ended up in them in a situation where they're juggling their life, or they gambled their life away. Because this is my gambling card, too. Somebody gambled their health, either their health, their life, or they took a foolish move and took someone else's life, which caused the tower. Now they need to reach out to you for some type of help. But I don't know why the hell they going to... Is this a child? Now, this for some of y'all, I'm not getting a child. But for some of you, this could be a child. Because the Aries reminds me of page energy, you know. And pages are children. Or this could be an immature king of pentacles who wants to be an emperor. They have the potential to be an emperor. But the moves that they make in their mindset is very childish and foolish and it doesn't make sense. And they take leaps of faith without having any substance. Like, you're not even, what, is, what are you taking the leap of faith to? Anyway, but a tower. So, yeah, somebody possibly, I don't know, they got themselves in some trouble. Either they have taken someone else's life out. Yeah, out of anger because if this is an impulsive card. 
The Knight of Cups, I mean Knight of Cups, the Knight of Swords is very impulsive. This is very angry. This person could be dealing with emotional anger issues as well, okay? Where they did something. They possibly, ooh, honey to the Queen of Cups. So they possibly did something foolish to a Queen of Cups and the Queen of Cups tried to protect themselves. So did they attack a Queen of Cups from... Ooh, what, the hell, what the hell this is turning wait a minute wait a minute hold on y'all the spirits say that's the truth and they are in regret <coughs> they don't want me to tell it <coughs> somebody left to go to a queen of cups baby mother's energy this baby mother i don't know what had happened we're going to get to see what had happened because i think that this person ended this baby mama's life and is facing some type of legalities with this i don't know um, something tragic happened with this tower, okay? Or somebody had a shocking realization that this baby mama was a risk taker in the relationship and had a sugar daddy. Y'all, what? And honey, um, they found out. I don't know who the sugar daddy found out or the husband found out because the king of pentacles is a husband, the husband found out and laid to somebody to rest and possibly push. So I don't, mm, I'm getting like this, a high rise. So some of y'all could live in a high rise or this person lives in a high rise building. And something happened in the home where somebody either was ejected from. No, I'm just, this is what I'm saying. I'm reading the cards. Somebody was ejected from the window. They might have saw somebody in the passion of crime. Okay, this is what happened. So maybe I'm just okay, going up into it. This Queen of Cups energy, because they seem so loving and innocent, this masculine, because the King of Pentacles is a hard-working man. They lost control of their emotions. I don't know if you hear the sirens in the background. And then when this happened, they immediately regret and thought about you, how they left and walked away from you. Because I did see, yeah, how they ghosted you and left you out in the cold to go be with this Queen of cups maybe they had kids with them or a son i'm getting they wanted to work it out but who knows if the son was even oh my god don't be saying we're picking up that storyline again but i guess we are somewhat of it say take what resonates and leave the rest this queen of cups energy was a risk taker they took a leap of faith with this queen of cups okay when they should have blocked this queen of cups and laid it to rest they're angry that they did not do that because now they're facing some type of tower okay now what is the tower that they're facing spirit and now they're having reminiscing feelings and emotions about you yeah this yeah let me hold on I'm just looking so yeah what's going on spirit they want a family with you now okay they see you as wish fulfillment or the ten of cups or you're emotionally stable Oh, that's why you got to be careful. Yeah, and they want a brand new passionate beginning with you as well, okay? Now, I don't know if they're going to be able to have a brand new passionate beginning with you because they look at something real. They look at you as the star, though. They feel left out, okay? And they're under judgment right now because you're moving forward and there's some communication that they want to say or whatever they're communicating. What is the Seven of Swords, Holy Spirit? What is the seven? Oh, that flipped over. Seven of Swords. They lied about it. So who's who's the, who's the seven? Yeah, and they're heavily burdened by that. So they had they they possibly ghosted you for this Queen of Cups after having a one night stand with them. Okay, and now they they're heavily burdened trying to face the you Queen of Swords, male or female. They're heavily burdened. They want to face you, or they can't face you. Your back is turned. Your that's what's head, making the burden so heavy is that your back is turned towards this person. So, Spirit, what do they get into? What is this for of swords? Okay. The offer that ended everything because they should have rejected it. So, that's what got laid to rest. What is the death and the four of swords? Because that's, something, that's, that's laying something to rest for permanently. Permanently. What's going on? Did they? Mm, I hope this does not so. The five of swords, okay, and they got it. So, elite, yeah, they're in the spirit. Say, yeah, they got something, something was revealed. So, I'm getting two couple, a couple of things, but the main thing I am getting though is that something, 
somebody wanted to win at all costs and now they feel defeated. They thought they were going over somewhere to balance something out because this lying, deceptive, traveling H O E three oh four they were trying to they were trying to heal something with a three oh four. If y'all don't know what three oh four that means H hockey sticks, Oscar and um Eddie. <laughs> the knock at these are, you know. But they traveled to heal something with an HOE, okay? They thought it was good news, but it wasn't good news, okay? Um, now this person, oh my God, they went over, why did they go over to the Queen of Cups for to work something out for? Okay, yeah, it's because they thought it was going to be equal give and take. It could have been money. This King of Swords, because she keeps showing up. Yeah, he thought he was going to get an equal give and take with this person, but now he realizes that this person is a straight Jezebel energy. Okay, I don't know if their health was compromised. They're very angry about this Four of Swords, though. They're mad that they should have laid it to rest or they should have blocked this person. This person, what is the death spirit? Because something with, the, I don't know if they got something with this death or they should have laid to rest the not one night stand that they had, but... If they would have avoided, this is the bottom line, if they would have avoided this Queen of Cups energy, they felt that they wouldn't be going through this tower right now and such a heavy burden. And now they want to come back to you for you to make it all better for them. They want a passionate brand new beginning. They're very emotional. They see that you're the one for them now, not the Queen of Cups. It's the Empress. Okay, take it however it goes. And now they want to equal give and take with you, the Queen, the King of Swords. So both of you guys are up here. So this is so some of you you both could be cold towards one another, not talking, or you guys have harsh communication when you do speak. Okay, because I feel like mm, you wanna mm, what is spirit? This person is in regret. They're in regret that they back they feel backstabbed and betrayed because they backstabbed and betrayed you to go be with somebody else, unfortunately. That they thought that they can work out things with. With the Eight of Pentacles. Now it could have been somebody at work though too. That they cheated on you with. This could be a work situation. It doesn't have to be. Okay. But somebody did. So somebody. Okay. So somebody's husband is cheating on them. While they're at work. Period. Pretty much. Yeah. And I don't know if they, they got somebody pregnant. While they were cheating at work. Hmm, that's another situation. I'm not going to get too far into that. But somebody is cheating. Somebody is pregnant. Um, somebody got their co-worker pregnant or their boss or their high, um, like, supervisor type energy. Or this person is like a CEO or an entrepreneur of their own. They were, whoever they were working with, they got knocked up. Okay? Yeah, they were, yeah, at work. And now they're like, oh my God, what did I do? They're stressed out. Why are they stressed out? Because you're their everything. Now after they messed up so bad, and they want to come and communicate something to you. They want to speak to you. But whatever they're saying, they're going to be lying. They're not going to be honest, and they're not going to be telling the truth. They're going to give you a, a half-truth. And a half-truth is a lie. It's not the truth. Okay. Uh, so why does Gemini High Vibe Cross Watcher need to know this? So this could be already have happened, or this could be happening um, moving forward. So just keep your eyes open, okay? If you have a person that's working long hours and making excuses, or they could have just started a new business, and they have an assistant who they're working with, and they spend a lot of time with this assistant, okay? So keep your eye open, yes. Um, and this assistant, I don't know, maybe you don't suspect because you look at them as they would never do anything like that to you. They're sweet and loving and they come off all kind and caring and they, you look at them as family and you guys have went out and celebrated together before. So you would never think that it would be that person. Okay. They possibly went out for drinks several times, spirits saying, yeah, they did. And they did, they were doing the do every time they were going out celebrating um, maybe for drinks or whatever they would do. They were on their lunch or their break or whatever they would leave. And that's when the tables turn because they succumb to tox toxicity. Okay? So whoever this person, that child, mm, my heart is heavy for that. So this masculine, I'm getting a masculine or a feminine, uh, okay? Their hearts are heavy right now. Extremely heavy. And I don't feel like the high... 
So baby, high vibe, this may not be you. And then again, it could be you. I don't know. But somebody's heart is heavy and I don't feel like it's the empress, which is you. Um, it's, it's the one that ended up pregnant and now the CEO or this king of pentacles energy is upset. I don't know if he took the person out. That's why his heart is heavy because he took the person. You know this 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 is this, this is horrible. This goes down though like that, that. I'm not even trying. I wasn't even trying to get and pick this up, child. I thought it was going to be a simple. I said life's never simple. Yeah, they had they they had other lovers. It was another lover. Okay, they wanted to. So tell me, yeah, and causing illusions. With this Queen of Pentacles. And then the Queen of Wands keeps coming up. So this is somebody that they were working with. Or if it's not a work situation. This King of Swords got together with whoever they thought was the Empress. But this Empress was already getting into another relationship. And honey, something happened. To the point where there was a... I feel like a passion of crime broke out. Or some violence possibly broke out. If it's not violence, because the Knight of Swords is an emotional lunatic. He ain't got no sense, especially when it comes together with the Two of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. That means this person lost their ish, period. They did. And they could have been drinking or inebriated. Gemini, this could be an air sign, like us. Okay, not specifically a Gemini, but a Libra or an Aquarius. They lost their mind. They could be drinking a lot or they, they drink a lot. And then they ended up taking a child. And then they, I was going to say ended up taking off. Like take off. Child, I did not mean to say that. My condolences and nothing but love and respect. But somebody did something like that. Because take off's not here anymore. Okay. And now, yeah, they did something. And they're heavily burdened about. They should have turned their back, they felt, on this Queen of Pentacles and not slept with them or something like that or did the action that they took. And so they're in regret because now the Queen of Swords is doesn't want nothing to do. So are they sad? Yeah, they keep spying on you, whoever this person is. They see you're single, independent, abundant. Yeah, and you want nothing. You've ended the cycle already. You've healed, you've grown, you've evolved into this wonderful, beautiful, lovely woman or man or butterfly. Yeah, and they are in their head because they could have collaborated and built something beautiful with you too. If they would have chose to go down the same pathway, but lust took over. Grief. What got in this person's way, spirit? Please tell us because this is, this thing, because the king of pentacles is supposed to have a good head on their shoulders. He is. He's supposed to make rational decisions. He didn't show up in the reverse now. He didn't. But he likes to have a lot of attention. This King of Pentacles. Okay? Mm -hmm. What else, Spirit? What was, what was going on with the King of Pentacles or this air sign or this person when they... Yeah, their ego. They were all in their ego at that time. Mm -hmm. They like their ego stroke, going out, all the women, all the ladies, all the men, telling them how good they look. You know? Yeah. Because maybe he wasn't getting no action until this. I don't know. I don't know. Because, you know, the Empress ain't going to be doing all that. Or, you know. Yeah. I said, you weren't going to be doing all that. So this person possibly felt rejected. And I'm not saying it's your fault. You. Should, I mean, I don't know if this is a... I don't know. Honey. Okay, what else, spirit? Oh, my goodness. Hold on. Yeah, so when they felt rejected by you, um, they, they you, I mean, they got out of jobs. They went over somewhere and they made an offer to someone or whoever this person is. Yeah, they did. They moved to calmer waters or they wanted to move to calmer waters because they were in their ego. Yeah, they traveled somewhere. Okay, so I don't know if your husband just recently or currently or they're going to go on some, for some of you, a boat trip. Are they going to, yeah, this emperor, so they can feel good again and be happy. Yes, I'm telling you, and balance out themselves. So this person felt rejected by you. Okay, went over somewhere else where they can feel, I don't know. This person is very, has a low self-esteem, very insecure, okay, when they get rejected. 
they pout, throw a temper, temper tantrum. They can't take rejection at all. It makes them feel some kind of way. So maybe they walked away from you. Maybe you spoke the truth to this person and they couldn't handle it. So they went off to have a one, like that's weak as hell. And then they want to come back. Yeah, you're not going to take this person back. They're going to come back with an offer childishly though too. So this is a child, look, this is a childish offer. Yeah, that they want to get the wheel turning again, but there's no way in hell. This is a faded event. Um, this person is very greedy and selfish and they think about themselves. Even though this cycle is closed, they still want to work something out with you. They say we can work on this, but the only reason that they want to work on this is either because they're in trouble, they're in lack, they need some help, they need some, you know, legal assistance or financial assistance. So it's it's just a no all the way around. Mm, this person is lazy. Spirits say thank you. Look, spirits say this is a lazy person. They they can can't be bothered to do anything. Okay. Um, and all they're going to do is lo love bomb you. The reason they're, they're going to love bomb you is because they see this right here. You're the emperor or the empress. This is who you are. They were with it. So this person looks at you as a mother figure or a father figure. This is a grown man or a woman that's looking for another grown man or woman to take care of them because they see you as this long term investment. This person is the type of person that will save up all their little coin, all their little money. They'll even work sometimes if you're forced, if you push them to, but they won't pitch in towards any of the responsibilities of the household or anything. They'll save all their money and spend all your money. And this is where they want to come in for, for your assistance to help them somehow, some way. And this person's glory days have already peaked. So like I said, you've already peaked this person out. It's to the point where you you just don't want to deal with this person anymore. They're a heavy burden. They're non-committal. And you don't want to deal with anything like that. And that's why you're rejecting this offer. And you're standing in your ground and standing your power. Because this person has done this not once, two, three, four, at least ten times or more. And this is how and so by you putting your foot down and saying enough is enough is enough is enough. Choosing to love yourself and pour all the love into yourself and not hold any resentment or anger towards anything, you leveled up into this emperor or this empress energy, okay? Yeah, but their spirit said you guys are just way too different, okay? You have so many differences. You stand out. Whoever you are, you're standing in your power. And this person wants you to be all emotional with the blue and, and, you know, be all, but you're, you're protected as well with that blue as well. So you're unique. You're different. You're like called and chosen. You're favored by most high. Okay. And there, you guys are just too different to be together. You guys need to be on the same frequency of vibration and you're not that with this energy. The only part, the reason that this person wants to be with you is because your pockets are loaded and they, they need your help with some type of legal issue they say probably like i said before i'm not trying to put it out there but they put somebody's lights out with a rebound energy I mean, now they feel finessed and they're playing this victim mentality so now they're woke to the whole situation and now they want to come in and start all over <sighs> but it's a no i mean i just feel that you can do what you want to do but spirit what do you advise the beautiful collective to do with this energy and spirit say we don't need <laughs> the collective knows okay spirit we just want a card to what collective, what you want, oh shoot, what you, because this person is spying on you, and they are still running their mouth about you for whatever reasons, oh damn, spirit needs you to reject the offer and heal, thank you spirit, they laid it right there, and I was like, they want you to go heal, reject the offer, go heal, because this person is way too much of a heavy burden, okay, and you need to move forward with your life, this person is just a stagnated energy, they don't know where the hell to go, Okay, so they need to go to God at this time, at this point, at any point or time in your life. Anytime you're stuck and stagnated and you don't know what to do, don't depend on another man or another human being or another woman to get you out of a situation. You look to the source and you look within inside yourself, you know what I mean, and figure out why are you going through whatever you're going through and how are you going to get that yourself out of that situation. It's not you're going to get it out. Get yourself out. It's going to be God that's going to get you out, okay? 
So yeah, Gemini, that's your. Oh wait, hold on. Let me get some alphabets, okay, to see who it could be, who we could be, be, okay. And yeah. So yeah, I slept so good last night, y'all. I did, I did, I did. I was like, am I still sleeping? Like, no. I feel rested though, really rested, and relaxed. That's the better word. Extremely relaxed. Yes, darling, relax. <sighs> Look, I love this <laughs> Not the lazy part, but he's sleeping good That's how some of y'all was last night And that's how some of y'all sleep every night Y'all sleep amazing No nightmares Some of y'all don't even dream, which is okay But you can recall him back if you go tap in and do some meditation now, okay? Um, but the reason that some of you guys don't dream Is because your ancestors are protecting you from a... Uh, um, Somebody trying to ask your travel into your dreams, okay? Yeah, but your soul is protection, so don't panic too much if you don't dream. Some dream, some people don't. Some of you don't and you want to dream, go ahead and ask your ancestors, you know, and ask for that protection. But some of them won't allow you to dream because some things are not permitted for you to know at this time because some people do ask your travel into your dreams to find out or try to get the downloads and the codes that your ancestors have for you. So they could be blocking your dreams at this time. Okay? Not all of you. But for some of you. Okay? Especially with important, important, important messages for the mission that your ancestors and God has you on. So, okay? So they're going to be blocking some of that. So, Gemini, that's been your reading. I hope this helped you. I love you so much. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.